Millions of people around the world live with no access to electricity and are destined to a life of poverty. But one couple in a remote corner of India has found an innovative solution right under their feet, showing that small-scale solutions can help solve big problems. The lush green slopes of northern India are covered in dense forest. It was this stunning beauty that attracted Rajneesh and Rashmi Jain here 20 years ago, as Rashmi explains. Initially, the idea was that uh, both of us wanted to change our own lifestyle, to change living in the city and come to an area which was rural. They decided to take a bold step and follow their dream. Amidst the forest, they built Avani, a small village far from any modern conveniences, including electricity. And because, like so many rural villages in India, it was off the grid, they installed solar panels for lighting. It seemed idyllic, but not for long. Every year, rampant fires swept through the forest, threatening their village and their lives. During the dry season, the thousands of tons of needles from the pine trees, which blanketed the forest floor, became a tinderbox. But one day, they questioned whether the pine needles might actually be useful for something. Because there's so much fire every year, we realize that there is a potential there, there is energy there, can we harness that energy? And that's what sent us in the direction of generating some kind of usable energy from pine needles. They asked villagers to collect the pine needles before they caught fire and bring them to Rajneesh. At first, everyone thought they were crazy. These guys are paying us for collecting pine needles, so they must have lost their nuts and bolts somewhere, you know? And literally it was like that, they were laughing at me. But Rajneesh and Rashmi had seen a potential in the pine needles, which they believed would not only protect the environment, but despite skepticism, also change the villagers' lives. The resin inside each pine needle is a source of fuel that when heated produces gas that powers a generator. A hundred kilowatts of clean, renewable electricity now flow to Avani's 20 residences as well as its businesses. It was so simple. It was amazing for me to see my first power plant started generating power. I was almost on the verge of crying. It was really a magical moment for me. The project with the pine needles is, is fascinating. Olav Kjorovan of the United Nations Development Program recognizes the value of these small-scale innovations which address many local issues. It's not only about a hazard related to forest fires. It's about giving income to people that are now collecting these needles in order to produce the energy. It's also about how access to electricity helps increase earnings. Avani has always made fine silk products. But now, with power for lights and heavy machinery, they've been able to increase output significantly, providing living wages for 15 people. When there is more reliable access to electricity in these remote areas, it will drive the rural economy. There's a lot of innovation to get to the goal of universal access to energy for all. And the good news is that uh, a lot of the most practical and pragmatic ideas, you'll find them more often at the local level where it matters the most. Across the world, there are a lot of people who are living in darkness. They could use something we feel it can be done anywhere and everywhere. Although 85% of rural India still has no access to modern energy, small-scale systems like Avani's pine needle gasifier are changing the landscape and are proof that simple solutions can help solve big problems.